What's going on guys, it's Tom here from Elevate Digital and in this video I want to give you our honest review of the Convertry Funnel and Landing Page Builder. Now we recently moved over to Convertry from ClickFunnels, that's probably the most common landing page builder out there for creating sales funnels. You've also got things like Unbounce, Lead Pages which are all relatively common. But I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion, some of the advantages, the reasons we chose to go with Convertry but also some of the potential downsides and reasons it may not be a good fit for your needs. So let's dive into it. Okay, so before we get into the two main reasons we moved over from uh, ClickFunnels onto Convertry, I just wanna show you a comparison in terms of the features. Now, it looks like Convertry have actually really streamlined their packages recently. They used to have three packages similar to most of these landing page builders, because I think we actually signed up on the agency plan at the time. But it looks like they've now really streamlined it and gone for one uh, package. I'd imagine they maybe do have some, some upsells now at the back end if you wanted to get the agency plan, for example. Um, but it looks like they've now really kind of condensed it and gone for a more streamlined approach. So you've basically got the monthly plan here for $99 a month or the annual, which is $75 a month, which is a pretty decent saving actually. So if we just look at a like for like comparison here with ClickFunnels on their basic plan, which is $97. So it's about $2, $2 cheaper um, than Convertry. Funnels, you've got five more on Convertry. Um, pages actually jumps up quite significantly. So from 100 on Convertry, you're going up to 250. So it's more than double. Um, and then when you come on to things like, uh, what else do we have on here? So domains, um, if we look at domains on Convertry, we're getting 10 custom domains as opposed to um, three on ClickFunnels. Now what this me what domains basically means if you're not familiar, um, both ClickFunnels, Convertry, or most of these landing pages will give you, you can use their own domain. So you could have, you know, yourbusiness.clickfunnels.com or yourbusiness.convertry.com. If you want to use your custom domain though from your website, you can have it so it's, um, I don't know, go.yourbusiness.com or shop.yourbusiness.com, whatever you want that to be. So that's what a custom domain is if you're not aware. But as you'll see, um, they have substantially higher limits on all of these. The other thing I, I'm not a big fan of with ClickFunnels as well is just a lack of transparency with things like the limitations. So you'll see here and pretty much all landing page builders will have this, but there's an impressions cap per month. So this means you can have 250,000 views effectively of your page, of, of your landing pages each month, okay? Whereas on Convertry, it doesn't actually show you that. I'm pretty sure they still have limits on here. And I think they're actually relatively low on this basic plan. Um, but the annoying thing is it doesn't seem to show you anywhere on this page. Um, so I think even just for transparency, it's, you know, it's, it's quite a big thing to be able to see that information. Now, the two main reasons that we moved over, it wasn't anything to do with any of these limits because, you know, quite frankly, we're nowhere near 250 pages anyway, so we didn't really need to worry about that. The two biggest reasons was one, the, the design side. Now I'll show you this in a second on the landing page builder. But from a designing perspective on ClickFunnels, it works in a very modular interface. So if you've ever seen the ClickFunnels page builder or used a free trial, it, everything is effectively split into blocks on the pages. So text blocks, image blocks, and you basically swap these blocks around and just change the position. What it doesn't have the ability of like Convertry does is to give you the ability to literally drag and drop something anywhere on the page and have those really minute details. So again, this is something you need to ask yourself. Are you, is that something that's important to you? Do you want that minute control and flexibility over your page designs? The other thing, and this was a huge swaying factor that got us to move over, um, was the fact that Convertry's landing pages are ridiculously fast loading. And the reason that's important, there have been countless studies from Google, and I think it's somewhere on here. Yeah, so recent research by Google has shown 53% of people leave your mobile page if it takes more than three seconds to load. 
right? So that means if, if your page is taking more than three seconds to load on mobile, you could be losing over half of your visitors. So if you're running paid traffic, this is incredibly important. And you'll see here, there's a case study where this person was using ClickFunnels before. They're now getting sub, you know, under two second load times instead of seven seconds on ClickFunnels. As a result, they're getting opt-in, so they're getting sign-ups for half of the price, right? They were paying $10 before, but, but because they're not losing half of their visitors now, they're only paying $5. So this can be a really, really big thing, and it's something that's um, definitely worth taking into account. Um, and it's one of the main reasons that we came over. So I just wanna show you um, some of the different pages and the overall layout and what you can expect to see when you log into ConvertTree. So you've got your general dashboard. So this is relatively similar to what you'd expect on most landing page builders. You've got filtering options, you can search um, by name if you've got quite a lot of funnels. You've got your uh, main account section here. This is your campaigns. You've got cart, so you can add in your different products, different upsells. Um, so you can configure all the pricing and products and stuff in here. You've then got your affiliate dashboard. So like ClickFunnels, you do have the ability to, on your landing pages, display a little convertry badge, which means that somebody can click on that. And if they sign up through your link, um, you will get some commissions from that purchase. Now, this can be great for affiliates. So if you're an affiliate marketer and you're selling affiliate products, you know, any sale is a win effectively, right? But if you're running your own business with your own products and services, ideally you don't really want to have that. We, we choose not to have that on there. You can do, but you've just got to factor in if you're selling your own product or service, you really don't wanna be sending people away from your website, right? The, the, the main intention behind a funnel and a landing page is that you're getting people to take you know, one particular action. So it, it's up to you though, it gives you the option to choose whether you display that or not. You, um, yeah, I mean, the, so these are the main things. So campaigns, cart where you do your products, you've got affiliate, you then got your account settings as well. Um, I will just show you as well. So when you actually go in, so these are the funnels themselves. The next page you go into is this is inside one of the funnels. So you'll see the different pages on here. Again, if you're similar to click funnels, it's a very similar layout. You can create different paths, etc. add in different pages, you know, whether you want to build a two step funnel, three step, thank you pages, upsells, etc. You can do that all within here. Another really handy feature that Convertry has is it gives you the ability to actually import a, uh, a page. So you can import, you can literally type in the URL of any existing website. So if you've got a, your existing website, you want to download your um, a page template from, or if you've got a landing page with a, another um, software provider at the moment, you just put in your domain here, you tick this little box, confirm it belongs to you, and then you can just import that page. And this actually works surprisingly well. There are sometimes a few elements that come out a bit skewed, but it's pretty damn impressive and it will save you a hell of a lot of time instead of having to build all of your pages and funnels from scratch. Um, so that's a really nice feature that they've got on here. Now, the next thing to show you is the, uh, the actual page builder itself, right? So just to go through some of the elements on here. So this is the, um, the element section where you've got your little drag and drop icon. So you can add a, add a text block. You can add an image block. Um, you've got form elements here. So this is things like, you know, your sign up form, email, you can put in check boxes. Um, you can have your credit card input form. You can have like bump sales, so like one click up sales and things like that. You've then got your video options. So you can, um, Convertry actually offers their own video hosting now, which is a really nice feature. So super fast video hosting as well. So to give you a bit of context about this, and because this is quite a big thing, with um, most landing page builders, you would use either YouTube. The downside to embedding a YouTube video is that when the video finishes playing, you've obviously got the suggested videos that pop up and you can end up losing people in the YouTube rabbit hole. Again, with a landing page, it's really important you keep it as intentional um, as possible. So you're not kind of losing people and you're guiding people to take that, you know, that specific action. So what some people do is they'll sign up for a Vimeo or a paid Wistia account, for example. Um, 
the nice thing about uh, Convertry now and that they've streamlined the packages is you are getting, I believe, uh, yeah, on the standard package, they actually include um, videos now. So you can host 20 videos with them, which is quite a nice little option. So that's something to uh, be aware of. You've also got the things like countdown timers, like you'd expect, you've got HTML elements. So this means if you wanted to embed a form, for example, like a type form from an external um, place or an external tool or app, you're able to do that through a HTML embed. Um, so you've got the, the kind of main things that you would expect, really. They've also added this new thing on here as well, collections, which is basically a set of templates that you can use for, um, you know, countdown timer offers, footer sections, um, pop-ups and things like that. So you can add on these additional little things. You can set triggers for the pop-up so you can have things like exit intent as well. Um, you know, again, typical things you'd expect on a landing page builder. Where Convertry comes into its own and the builder section though, what I was mentioning earlier is the ability to really have minute control over where you place things on the page, right? So you can literally drag and drop things anywhere. You can just choose the size here. So it really gives you that minute level of detail. Now, the thing to be aware of and where this can become a slight disadvantage is if you're customizing lots of things, moving it all around on the page, you will find when it comes to mobile optimization, sometimes things can get a little bit skewed. Whereas on something like ClickFunnels, because it's very modular and you're limited, it works in a limited framework, the mobile optimization works pretty well and you don't really need to do much. Whereas on Convertry, if you've done a lot of custom design, um, you'll find that you have to move things around quite a bit to get them optimized. It does give you this automatic um, mobile conversion feature, which is quite nice. Doesn't work 100% of the time, um, but it's a decent option to, um, to have anyway. So um, that's just something to be mindful of. But yeah, that's that's really the nice thing here is that, you know, it, you do have such a huge element of control when it um, when it comes to Convertry. So the next thing to um, to talk about as well is the fact that they do have a huge template library. Um, they said, I think, 250, but I think there's probably way more than that now. So you have like full funnel templates, you have individual page templates. So they've got things from, you know, like webinar opt-ins, physical products, um, all sorts of different stuff. So it's um, really, really handy to even draw inspiration from or to use one of these templates and just edit it for your brand. Um, so that's a quite nice little feature that you've got on there. The other good thing about Convertry as well is that they've got a ton of different integrations. So everything from being able to embed your, you know, Facebook comments box, you can integrate it to a Shopify store. So if you wanted to sell a physical product um, and have it all integrated into Shopify, you can very easily do that. You can integrate your Stripe and PayPal accounts, and you've also got all the autoresponders and CRMs that you'd expect to see, like Infusionsoft, Mailchimp, Active Campaign, etc., which is. Uh, which is obviously really, really handy. So in terms of the downsides to Convertry, I, I would say the main downsides are, again, it's going to be things like um, coming back to that design element. Do you really need or, or is that something that's really important to you? Um, because if it's not and you're playing about a bit too much, it can sometimes cause a lot of hassle from a, hassle from a mobile optimization perspective. It's also worth noting here, you'll see these grid lines here. So this basically indicates um, the safe zone, so to speak. So you can go outside of these grid lines, but what it means is that on certain devices that have a smaller... Um, uh, smaller screen size, like very, very small notebooks, for example, some elements may be displayed outside of the page, right? So that's something that's worth factoring in. So that's why on this one, we've opted to kind of keep it within those frames. Um, but you can kind of go outside of those, but it's just worth being aware of. So if it's like text elements, you want to keep them inside. But if it's like a background image, um, just try and keep the main part of the image within there. Um, so that's really one thing to be aware of. The other downside I would say is whilst Convertry does offer things like um, A-B testing, which is really useful if you're driving traffic to a funnel, you can test different landing pages. However, when you look at things like Unbounce, one of their competitors, 
substantially more features in terms of conversion rate optimization. So they have um, this feature they call smart traffic, which basically uses AI to um, intelligently on the fly figure out which page is converting the best from each traffic source. And it will actually optimize different images, different text and stuff that's working. Um, so if you're getting really high volumes of traffic coming to your site already, and you're really looking for that minute detail in terms of text testing, conversion rate optimization, Unbounce may be a better option, but it's worth noting you're gonna pay substantially more. So I think Unbounce to get an equivalent kind of package in terms of limits, you're looking at, yeah, like potentially $300 a month, right? So it's, um, it's quite a big, big difference there. So this is really for people that are getting high volume of traffic and you're just looking to really, you know, optimize those conversions. So um, something to be aware of there. So, you know, again, Convertry isn't, doesn't give you um, as great a control, I would say, in terms of that. It does have quite a nice feature in that you can do dynamic text, which basically means you can set a text field on your page builder and you can make this dynamic so that it changes based on the source, for example. So let's say we were running Google ads and Facebook ads, you could have that say something different depending on the source they're coming from. Um, so that can be quite quite a handy thing to um, to have on Convertry as well. Now, I mean, to to sum this up, I guess the main thing to say here would be if you're looking for something that's going to be very quick and easy, that has very very generous limits for a very reasonable price tag, and you also want to benefit from that high speed, and you know, as you've seen on on the um, some of the examples here, it can make a really big difference if you're driving paid traffic to the site. Um, Convertry is an absolute no brainer. The only time I would say maybe, you know, that if you're currently on ClickFunnels and maybe, you, you know, you wouldn't want to come over to Convertry, what ClickFunnels have done quite well is like Apple, they've almost created their own ecosystem, right? So they have their own products like, uh, I think they've got their own autoresponder now called Backpack or something, their own kind of, you know, bespoke affiliate dashboards if you want to bring affiliates in for your business. So... If, you're, if your business is heavily reliant on the ClickFunnels ecosystem, it may be more hassle to come over to Convertry because you're gonna have to find other third-party software to plug in. Um, if you're not, if you're just using the landing page builder, I would say it's absolutely a no-brainer um, coming over from ClickFunnels just because of the increased limits you've got. You've also got the super fast speed as well, which can make a huge difference um, to, your, to your cost per leads and cost per sale. And, um, and, you know, it, I, I just feel like for the value for, for what you're paying for, it's a really, really, um, really great starting place. Um, but again, maybe if you're using some, if you need something with more detail, more focus on conversion rate optimization, you might even want to consider something like one of the uh, premium plans using Upbounce. So I hope that's given you a good idea and overview. If there are any questions that you have or anything that I haven't covered, um, be feel free, feel free to drop it in the comments below. I will do my best to answer. I will also put a link to the Convertry free trial in the description below this video just be aware as well because i like to be transparent that it will be an affiliate link so um if you do sign up and you do choose to go ahead with convertry after we we will get a small commission um from that sign up and from that purchase so i really hope that video has helped again if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below if you've got value from this video be sure to give it a like and hit, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this on a weekly basis around marketing and really helping to grow your business and take your sales to the next level.